Well, howdy y'all, Handy Redneck here. I am going to go through a little bit of uh, my uh, newest modified quail cage. As you can see, they're up off the ground. Uh, these legs are four foot up. And then between here and here is 14 inches. Then from here down to here is five foot. And then from here to here is two foot. So we got two foot by five foot by 14 inches deep. Uh, for the bottom of the cage, it's stapled up from underneath, except for this center board. The center board is put on afterwards uh, to help keep everything flat. Um, you can see the center board here. This is um, half inch by half inch wire. Came in a roll two foot wide by 10 foot long. So we can get two, two cage floors out of it. Uh, on the side here, this is just chicken wire. It's actually bought by the roll. It was a 50 foot roll that's uh, one foot wide. And it's just stapled along there uh, on three sides, uh, both long sides and one short side. The other short side down there will be uh, uh, where we put the nest box, which is a two foot by two foot extension, uh, making the overall size of this. Um, five foot by seven foot now if you wanted you could also go ahead and take out the wire on this end and put another nest box or um, a dust box or even a, a bird bath uh, extension on that end so you know I actually designed this to actually be able to extend and go either way you know, make bigger. You can actually take this, uh, butt it up against another pin with the opening, uh, butt it up to another pin and double the length uh, just fine. Now th this uh, pin here, when it's all said and done, uh, will have approximately 2,016 inches for the birds and should hold 31, 32 birds comfortably with uh, 8 inches, 8 square squared inches. Um, uh, if you look here, these are all half inch, so uh, we're talking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 16. So if you see where my finger is, and if you square that off both directions, up and to the left, that's 8 inches squared for a grand total of 64 square inches. And a quail will take up about half of that in body size. So, you know, they'll, they'll have space and can space themselves out. You know, quail are um, flocking birds, so to speak. You know, they live in coveys and will snuggle up next to each other, but um, they do need space as well. Uh, continuing on, <laughs> Uh, these are my uh, new openings on the top. My uh, original design had this closed in, but I went ahead and uh, left this open this time because uh, 
whether it's the new design or my old design, this whole thing is going to have a vinyl plastic covering laying over the top of it uh, to keep the quail dry, um, but allow them access to the pin. So, you know, this is more for critter control and, uh, and it'll actually allow more light in too. Um, got a wooden handle. The original one did not have handles, but it did have locks because it was a, a lighter, um, it was a lighter, uh, door. This one is kind of heavy, you know, um, this one's made heavier for better critter control. But because it is so heavy, I had to put these uh, blocks on the other edge here to keep it from over opening and destroying the hinges. You know, I could uh, change that up and use heavier hinges, but heavier hinges cost more money. And I wanted to keep this as relatively cheap as possible. Um, like I say, the, the, the bottom half by half wire for 10 feet of it was uh, $18 and some change. So we'll just round that up to $20. This uh, one foot chicken wire uh, was about $30. Uh, each of these um, hinges was about a, a dollar a hinge. Um, a box of the wood screws these uh, for the hinges are one and a quarter inch most uh, everything else is held together with uh, um, two and a half to three inch uh, wood screws um, the legs are treated everything else is non-treated uh, it's all pine so when I built this, uh, it costs about, uh, depending on if you can find the lumber cheap these days, you, you should be able to put one of these together for $100 to $130. And that is with a um, nest box on the end here. And uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, um, jump cut, and I'll show you the nest box on the original uh, design, which I really like, and I'm probably going to duplicate for this one. Okay, here we are over at the original. Uh, you can see some of my quail in here. Um, it's getting about feeding time, but we'll, we'll get through this pretty quick. As you can see, we go from 14 inches down to about seven inches in the back so but it's a uh, two foot long and two foot wide um, this is the vinyl I was telling you about uh, I got it on sale at Walmart for a dollar 47 a yard um, it normally runs about two 250 a yard um, four yards cover this whole thing quite nicely um, we've got the lid hinged up here and here's the inside of the nest box um, we went ahead and cut a hole in one side and this whole piece here is an add-on afterwards um, just to help keep the heat and everything in here originally I was just going to leave that whole section open but I figured I would shrink it down and as you can see um, they're laying in here this is a warm egg so they're just starting to lay for today in here as you can tell my girls um, are afternoon layers and they the they're, they're pretty healthy kids in there. But um, to hold the vinyl on, uh, I just pull the vinyl over uh, and fold it like a Christmas present and clip it with a 
paper binder clip and that holds it on uh, covers the sides but still allows air up in there to get up in it um, like I say um, I upgraded to half inch bottoms I was running a uh, quarter inch bottoms but it was holding too much poo inside that had to be scraped out. So now we have, since I switched to the half by half, we have like no poo issues. And that little boy is chirping at me. As you can see, they're, they're, they're happy birds. Now, in this pen, part of the reason they're happy birds is there's only 18 in there. And as you can see, they didn't take up uh, too, whole, too much of the cage altogether when they squished in. So, you could get 30 to 32 in there. Uh, it'll be a little tighter, but they should be fine, especially if you keep your male to female ratios um, well to the female side. Anyway, this here's a handy redneck. I'll talk to y'all later.